ladies and gentlemen. Gentlemen and ladies. No, no, no. I did not do this on purpose. How the background is moving with that beat right there. Did not do that on purpose. And it says, what is wrong with the world? And it shows a picture of the sun and the planets. Hey. All right. That's Eon's monologue, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to spend some time. I'm going to talk about at least five things. Then I'm going to end this video just to let you guys know. I have individuals who are paying attention to the words. They're watching the videos. They're reading the words on those videos that have songs because each of the songs have an actual meaning. Now, that particular one is talking about what's going on over in the Middle East, about how one country seems to be bombing another country to death. Move to Rafa! No, move, move, no! All the way! No, keep going! Keep, keep going! No, further! Further! Okay, right there! Yeah, no more room to uh, border in there! No, stay right there! Okay, stay right there! And then they bomb all the other places in the area. Okay, now y'all go back where you came from! No, no, you ain't got no place to stay because we done blew all that. Uh, th no, we done man, smither, and rings. It's gone. So y'all just go on up there and live nowhere and live underneath nothing. You ain't got no running water, no food, no nothing. So y'all just go because we going to be bombing your last place of refuge. Interesting. They told them to move south that they would be safe there. Then all of a sudden the excuse is, Oh, there's terrorists among y'all. Yes, terrorists. They they right among y'all. They hiding with y'all. So yeah, we done we done man, we done killed over thirty thousand of them, but we still got more we need to kill. And the world is sitting by looking at nothing. In the meantime, pay attention. In the meantime, all the people in the Middle East, they're not seeing the news we're seeing over here. Oh God, no. They're seeing all the dead bodies. They're seeing all the babies. You know how they reported there were decapitated babies and all of that stuff? And there was never any photos, any, and I would never want to see a photo like that, but they, they never showed any proof. They just said it. Well, now they're showing proof of the dead bodies. So that's the Eon's monologue. What's going on with this world of ours? Now, the people in the Middle East are seeing that nobody's doing anything about it. Now, see, you can't talk about this stuff on YouTube. Oh, God, no, you'll get flagged. Why? Because YouTube wants to censor the conversation. You can't talk about the real news because YouTube censors the conversation. Why? Because that's what happens when you want to control people. You want to control the narrative. See, all I know is one country told everybody, hey, those people on your college campuses, they can't be talking like that because once they talk like that, that means they're anti. Really? The moment they say something against a particular way a country does something, they have to be anti semitic What the? Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, that doesn't make any sense. So what they're saying is if you are not for us, then you're against us. Pay attention. They're using the U.S.'s playbook. Y'all didn't get it? Everything that's going on in Israel right now is the same thing they did in Libya, same thing they did in Iraq, the same thing they did in Afghanistan. They did it in Iraq twice. When they went after Qaddafi, they did the same thing to Qaddafi. Pay attention. They did the same thing in Iran. Well, at least they tried. It didn't work. So you guys have to understand you have to understand that what's going on in our world is not a joke, and many of you are oblivious to it because you keep closing your ears and closing your eyes because you don't want to see what's happening. Well, the problem is you have no choice. You have no choice. It is a interesting world. Now, I got people, two people went to court today. One of them, there was a definitely misunderstanding in the communication because what the person was communicating to me, I was perceiving differently. Because when they explained it to me, in their state, I don't know the laws of your states, people. I just know what the basic principles of law are. 
each one of you. Now, when I say that, be, let me be careful. <laughs> Man, I know what the Constitution of every state says because they have to mirror the Bill of Rights. Every Constitution has to mirror the Bill of Rights. That's why every Constitution has a right to petition for redress. Every Constitution has a right to petition for redress. Every Constitution has a freedom of speech, freedom of religion. Every Constitution has a freedom of the press. Every Constitution in the United States has a fair trial, due process, equal protection of law. Don't believe me? Go and take a look at them. Compare them. They all have to mirror the Bill of Rights. Why? Because that was the agreement in the Northwest Ordinance that they would have to comply. Oops. Everybody keeps thinking that they formed some great nation experiment and all that. That's a bunch of bull. Do not believe them when they say stupid things like that. Let me explain to you what really went on. If you want to know how this so-called nation was formed, go back, pay attention, go back and look at the Northwest Ordinance. When you talk about founding stupid so-called fathers, there was no such thing. Okay? No such thing. Go back and look at the Northwest Ordinance. Go back and look at the Articles of um, Stupid uh, Articles of the Confederacy. Then you'll see how things were supposed to be. But it doesn't matter, everyone. It doesn't matter because we're not there anymore. We're too far gone. Well, anyway, back to the people who went to court. <sighs> Each person is nervous. So they're saying things and they're trying to have a conversation with these idiots. Look, the best advice that I can give you guys, get out of here, all of you. The best advice that I can give you guys is don't have a conversation with them. You cannot handle that conversation. They're using legalese, you're using English. You are not using the same word. So they're asking a question and you are acquiescing to what's going on. You're acquiescing to what they're putting you through. Don't do that to yourself. If they ask you a question, take the question and turn it around on them. If they ask you a question, are you a sovereign citizen? Then you take the question and turn it around on them. What is a sovereign citizen? Well, I'm sorry, what's your definition of a sovereign citizen, sir? Wait, are you telling me that, wait, the judicial branch of government has sovereign immunity, right? Okay, so the judicial branch of government, are, are they a citizen of the United States? Well, they're an instrumentality of the United States, so it means they're a citizen of the United States, right? So then they're sovereign citizens, right? No, no, no. no. By your definition, they must be sovereign citizens. So are they terrorists? So where's the law that makes them terrorists? Oh, you just made it up out of thin air? Okay, well then, yeah, uh, I guess everybody in America is sovereign citizens, according to you. Yeah, just because they ask questions and question you? Do you see? He can't handle the questions now because we just changed the entire subject. He tried to change the subject, but now we just turned it on him, against him. You can practice this stuff. You know what questions they're gonna ask you. So learn how to turn the question back on them. It takes practice, so practice it. You guys do it with everybody else. You do it with your children. You do it with your friends. You get technical with them. But here's the thing. This is not a conversation. You're not having a conversation with them. You're just asking questions. The judge told the young lady he would not answer her questions. So I sent her back in there with more questions. Why? Because I knew he was going to do what he did, and I needed something for her to appeal. See, we need to appeal him violating her rights. Somebody, uh, let, me, let me tell you this, and then we're going to let y'all go because I got to get up early. Ladies and gentlemen, there's a young man who called me. He's got a situation where he was in an accident. And when he got into the accident, they were in bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic. And whatever the situation was, he ended up hitting the bumper of the vehicle in front of him. They were in bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic, so it wasn't a collision. It was an accident. Okay, he just hit somebody's bumper. It happens all the time. Hey, you guys all right? Yeah, we're all right. You all right, honey? Well, I'm a little shooken up. It just caught me off guard. Okay. Three people in the car. And a year later, he gets this bill from his insurance company saying, hey, they paid for whatever damages was to the car, which was nothing. 
most of the bill was the hospital bills. All of a sudden, everybody's injured and got problems and got over a hundred thousand dollars worth of hospital bills. What the? <clears throat> Excuse me. So he asked me, what could he do? Now he's calling me for a consult. He's already paid for the consult. We were having our prequel. I told him, well, basically you hit their bumper, even though there may not have been much damage to the bumper. You still hit the bumper and thus you're at fault. So technically you don't have a lot you can do. But after he started explaining that he asked for their insurance and he gave them his insurance and they said, well, no, we're not going to report it. If there's any problems, we'll call you and let you know. Well, they never called him to let him know. They never gave their insurance information. I said, oh, thank you for telling me that. That's what I needed to hear. I said, in every state, it's called the liability law. They have an obligation to share their information with you. They cannot not share it. So when they told you, no, well, we're not going to do it. We're going to sit up there and let it go. We don't think there's anybody hurt. There's no damage to the car. <laughs> I said, at that moment, they refused to give you their insurance information. Oh, and by the way, what your insurance company didn't tell you, because they're charging them for the hospital bills, what they didn't tell you is that once your insurance, pay attention, was exhausted, the amount of coverage, then their uninsured motorist, because at that point he's uninsured, their uninsured motorist provision kicks in because they had full coverage. Ta-da! So he pays nothing. They say, well, the insurance company can come after them. No, they can't come after you now because their policyholder failed to follow the law, failed to give their information, so it operates as a hit and run. Oops. My bad. You feel me? That's how the law works, ladies and gentlemen. Now, that's just a couple of minutes of talking to him. Now, some of you are going to think about what I just said, and you're going to realize, you know what? He's right. Well, that's what people get when they call me and tell me about their situations and problems because that's a consult. Now, that wasn't the consult. That was the conversation before the consult. Now that we've talked about it, now I can go even deeper. That's not even the gist of the hour-long conversation. Oh, oh, you didn't know? Oh, no, no. See, when I do consults, you get the hour and 45 minutes guaranteed. An hour is definitely guaranteed. 45 minutes is extra. Most of my consults last three hours now because I help people do documents. Ta-da. So they do get their money's worth. I've not had a single person yet tell me that they didn't get their money's worth. We do have the intelligent people who they get a consult. And you know what they do? And it's amazing to me that they do this. I don't understand why or how. But what those individuals do is they presume and assume that a consult is me tutoring them they want to talk people i ain't got time to be talking to none of y'all don't take it wrong i'm not i'm not being offensive i'm helping too many people at one time i cannot sit up here and talk to each one of you singularly every single day of the week it is too tiring it takes too much energy if I just touch the fringe of his garment, I can get well. Oh, look at that. I'm in, I'm all well. Who touched me? No, no. Who was it that touched me? What are you talking about? Who is it that touched you? All these people around you and you're talking about, oh, you must be out of your mind. Just because the woman touched the fringe of his garment, he felt power being drained from him. Well, just imagine Look at all the people he was healing day after day after day, talking to day after day after day, solving people's problems day after day after day. And look at all the times that he says, let us go to a quiet place and rest a bit. Because they didn't have any leisure time even to eat a meal. Every time, twice he was in the boat and twice he was asleep. I mean, he was so tired. Pay attention that he slept through a windstorm. Pay attention, people. That's how tired he was because that's how draining the people around him were. So I am nowhere near <laughs> his strength. So I'm just trying to say, I'm going to do the best I can. But you hear the cracking in my voice right now? That's not pretending. That's stress. Not stress that uh, I'm going to have a heart attack in five minutes. But stressed nonetheless, worrying about people, worrying about their situations. This was a long day. 
been up since 5, 5 a.m. because that's when my phone rang. That's right. Somebody called me at 5 a.m. Because they had an emergency. And I gave them my time. Wasn't ready to wake up at 5 a.m. But, you know, that's the way it was. Because I had a consult at 7. Which went pretty good. So, ladies and gentlemen, what I got to go outside. I have a... Uh, one of my cameras have a bunch of spider webs. They love cameras for some reason. I don't know. I think they do it to me on purpose, but I got to go clear the webs off the camera. So I was going to let y'all go and I'm going to get back in here and get me some, I'm watching some Star Trek Discovery and then I'm going to sleep. So y'all take care. We will talk again. Stay safe, everybody. And by the way, there's a lot of things coming our way. And I, all I can tell you, if you listen to the song, I talk about how I've already seen it. And everything that I've seen is, it's uh, what you call it, step by step by step by step by step, it's happening. So I want y'all to do yourselves a favor. If you hear anything about a dirty bomb, then you'll be saying, oh, that mother was right. Dang it. I'm getting so tired of him being right all the time. It's not me. It's the person who allowed me to see that to literally experience it before it occurred. So there's going to be a dirty bomb. I'm not wishing it upon anybody. I'm telling you because I told you that since 2017. Been telling people about this dirty bomb thing since 2015. Okay? Since 2015, I've seen this stuff that's going on now. Imagine that. That's why I don't even listen to the reports anymore, because I told the group that uh, we do trading with back in November, right after this happened in October, I told them, I said, and Israel's going to keep doing what it's doing. They're going to ignore. And then all of a sudden they're going to go to the U.N. and the U.N.'s going to tell them, y'all need to stop. And they they going to keep going and act like they ain't even heard what the U.N. said. And then something very bad is about to happen. And now the UN is going to say enough. And they're going to step in. And that's where we're headed. Because they did exactly what I told everybody they were going to do. They were going to claim that the United States did the same thing. And that's exactly what they're claiming. We're only doing what the U.S. did. Now the U.S., that's why the U.S. can't come in and say anything. Because there's evidence. Israel has the evidence that this is what the U.S. did. But they also have a lot of evidence against a lot of so-called wannabe powerful people. Why do you think all the politicians, including the orange man, is sitting up here saying what they want him to say? Don't take my word for it. Go listen to him. Go listen to all of them. It's an interesting world. So, ladies and gentlemen, don't choose sides. Don't choose the right. Don't choose the left. Don't choose the east. Don't choose the west. Do not choose sides. Why? Do you have to reduce yourself to such a stature where you're choosing a side? Do not choose a side. It ain't necessary. All right. I got to go. I'm tired of the alarm going off. I got to go fix it. All right. Y'all has a good day. All right. Y'all come on back and see us now. You hear?